in this random quotes project we're going to be accessing our quotes online through the ajax and for the ajax requests we're going to be using jquery first we obviously need to create our html and css structure so therefore over here you can see that i have index html then i have over here main css where we're going to have our styles and this is going to be the script js right so we're going to start with index html and i'm going to go over here and i'm going to say that i would want a basic skeleton right so again you can do the same that i'm doing in brackets or in your text server you probably have the same option right so where you can get right away a basic skeleton for the html and over here we're going to say that this is going to be english the title we might as well going to say that this is going to be gs which is going to stand for javascript obviously right and then we're going to go over here in the body and first we're going to put our elements right so over here what we're going to have this is going to be div and the class is going to be container or here container and you can see that i uh, forgot to actually use the emmet right then we're going to have a div that is going to be quote text quote text over here like this and then within this div we're going to have a heading one which is going to have an id of quote over here like this right then i press the tab and over here i'm going to say that if if you right would like over here to read uh, a random quote quote over here or here click the button right so this is we're gonna be button below right so this is gonna be our text and then we're gonna have a paragraph which is gonna have an ID of author so I'm gonna write over here paragraph and this is gonna be author here like this and then we're gonna have a by coding addict in it right so over here we're gonna have a line and then I'm gonna say by coding addict or here like this and then once this div is over right so once we have worked in this div still in the container we're going to add a button over here we're going to say the button is going to have an id and we're going to say this is going to be btn right so very uh, naive right id in a normal case we obviously wouldn't use something like this but because this uh, project is so small we can do it like this over here and i'm going to say click here and now what i would need to do is obviously link main css and javascript right so here I can write link and I'm going to say main CSS and over here in the bottom of the body I'm going to say this is going to be obviously script and the source is going to be script JS so here source script and script JS so now that we're done with uh, the HTML we can go actually go ahead and go to main CSS right so I'm going to go to main CSS and we're going to start applying rules right and the first one is going to be for the whole body we're going to say over here we're going to say background color over here and we're going to say that this is going to be c e d zero c e right so the kind of grayish one then we're going to have min height and this is going to be 100 viewports then we're going to have a text align and we're going to say this is center and then we're going to have a padding which is going to be 100 pixels right and then after that we're going to have a rule for the actual container container over here and we're going to say that the background color is going to be actually white over here and then we're going to have a width and we're going to set it actually to 80 viewports over here like this and then we're going to have a padding of 40 pixels and then we're going to have a height and the height is going to be 35 uh, viewports right so over here height is going to be view height something like this so that one is going to be 35 and then we're going to have a border and we're going to say border left and this is going to be three pixels solid and we're going to say this is going to be the orange one one five f two zero five right so over here then we're going to have a quote text over here quote i'm going to say text and the min height is going to be 20. Right, so we're going to say min height and 20 view height so we're here like this and then we're going to have a actual container and container heading one right so i'm going to write container and heading one and over here we're going to write that this is going to be font size over here and we're going to say 50 pixels and over here we're going to say this is going to be text align left text align not center we're going to say left over here 
and then we're gonna have the actual paragraph over here like this and we're gonna say container over here paragraph and over here we're gonna have text transform property so we're gonna say text transform and we're gonna say capitalize then we're gonna have a color and over here the color again is gonna be C E D zero C E right so something like this then we're gonna have a text align right then we're gonna have font style italic right style over here not stretch actually style we're gonna say this is gonna be italic and then let's actually create a little bit more room so we can work over here and once we have the italic then we're gonna have font size 30 30 pixels over here like this and then then we have two more rules and this is going to be for the button right so over here i'm going to say button and over here i'm going to say margin margin top is going to be 30 30 pixels over here and then we're going to have a font size of 25 25 pixels and then we're going to have a padding of 10 pixels and 20 pixels and over here background color is going to be black so background color and over here is one nine one nine one seven one six right and then we're going to have a color and the color over here is going to be f f one five zero two five right and then we'll have text transform to uppercase text transform to uppercase all right so we're going to go over here and we're going to say uppercase and once we have a button now we need a button hover right so over here i'm going to write hover over here and I'm going to say this is going to be color and hashtag one nine one seven one six right and background color is going to be actually orange so here we're going to say that the background color is or here hashtag f one five zero two five right and now we can actually save this and check it out what we have without any logic right? and see the only thing we probably should fix over here right you can see that this button is not in our container and another thing we should change is actually a min height to 35. Right? So we're going to go back to container and we're going to give it a viewport of height of 55, right? So if I refresh over here, now we have 55. And now we're actually ready to go to our script JS over here and start applying the logic. Since we're going to be working with a jQuery, don't forget to include the CDN or download the jQuery, right? Or here you can see that I'm using a Google Developers where I'm getting my CDN, but obviously you can get it anywhere. And once we're in our script, we obviously need to make a Ajax request, right? So over here, what the first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to set up variables, right? So I'm going to write over here variables, over here like this. And then I'm going to say that this is going to be, first one is going to be const, right? And this is going to be equal to actually button, over here like this. And then we're going to say that this is going to be a dollar sign again, right? And we're going to say that this is going to be a BTN, BTN over here. And then we're going to copy this two, two times, or here like this, one, two. And then we're going to say this is going to be quote, quote, and then this is going to be quote, right? So we're going to be targeting again IDs, quote, and this is going to be a author, right? So author over here and this is going to be author right once we have set up the variables right we have one more variable that we actually want to set right so over here i'm going to say this is going to be const or here const and this is going to be the actually url and this is going to be url for the github where i created our json object right so over here i'm going to say this is going to be a https or here with two uh two t's and ps over here then i'm going to say this is going to be colon and then we're gonna write this is gonna be coding, and this is gonna be addict, and over here we're gonna say LA, and then this is gonna be GitHub, and this is gonna be IO, and over here this is gonna be forward slash random, and we're gonna say quotes, and then we're gonna say quotes JSON, right? So quotes, and we're gonna say JSON. And once we have our URL over here, the first thing we're going to have a event listener right so over here i'm going to say this is going to be dollar sign and this is going to be btn and over here we're going to say click right so over here you can see i don't need this dot or here i'm going to say click and once i have a click 
and then I'm going to say this is going to be function and I'm going to call this function get data over here. And once we over here have a event listener, right, with our function get data, actually let's write our function, right? So over here I'm going to say this is going to be function and we're going to call it get data, right? And once we have this get data function, then over here we're going to have no parameters, right? And over here we're going to say that this is going to be a get json. Right, so over here we're going to say dollar sign, we're going to write get, and we're going to say json, and over here we're going to say that this is going to be a URL, right, so now you can see why we created our URL over here, right, so this is going to be a URL where we're getting that data, and over here we're going to have a function that, what we're doing with that data, right, so over here I'm going to call this function json data, over here like this, and then we're done with this function, right? So let's work with the JSON data function. So I'm over here, I'm going to go down, and I'm going to write that this is going to be a function declaration, JSON data, right? So and obviously it needs to match, right? So JSON data. And over here, I'm going to say that this is going to have a parameter of data, right? And this is the data that we're actually getting back, right? And we're going to be getting back as our JSON object. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here, and we're going to say that this is going to be let, and we're going to say random. We're going to first going to create a random number that we're actually, every time once we press the button, it's actually going to be getting our quote. So over here, I'm going to say math floor over here, and then we're going to say this is going to be math random, and over here, we're going to have a quotes, right? And then we're going to have a data length. So we're going to multiply this, we're going to say this is going to be data or here length, right? So what we're talking about is now we're saying that this should multiply by the length of our JSON, right? That's coming back over here. So once we have this, then we actually set a quote HTML and author HTML, right? So we would want to change the HTML of those two. So over here, I'm going to say that this is going to be a dollar sign. Then we're going to say a quote quote and we're going to say this is going to be html and this is going to be a span so over here we're going to say this is going to be a span something like this and then we're going to have a double quote over here and then we're going to have another span so we're going to write span over here but obviously we need closing over here span over here like this and then we're going to write that this is going to be a data random right so this is going to be a number so we're saying random, this is this is our number, and then we're going to have a quote, right? So over here we're going to say this is going to be our quote, and then we're going to have another span. So over here we're going to write that this is going to be a span, something like this. So we might as well can actually copy and paste this guy over here like this copy and over here we're going to go back and we're going to paste this and once we have this the last thing is the actual author right so we're going to go back over here and we might as well can copy and paste it copy and paste this and over here instead of html no i'm sorry html is going to stay the same the value is actually going to change right so we're going to say author right and instead of the quote this is actually going to be a uh, author all right, so we're going to write author, and we can just delete this guy. This is not necessary, right? And before we do that, actually, right away, I can see that there's a mistake, right? So you can see that with the quote, I didn't spell it correctly, right? So over here, this is quote, and this is quote, right? So we're going to go back over here, and we're going to write this is going to be quote. And in our document, you can see that everything is working, right? As I'm pressing over here, everything is clicking, and everything is working fine.